Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from Detective Agarada Info. And today I have a replay in my CDC. It is French week, we decided on Saturday, last Saturday, on the sub-Saturday video. Um, at least for a while I'm going to have a poll up on the video, either in the description or within YouTube itself. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to use. If you guys have any preference, do let me know. Um, and last week, Saturday, we decided that we were going to do French Week. We had a couple of nations tied for first place. I rolled my dice and French came out. So, here we have it, French Week. Next week is going to be... Tank type? Yeah, tank type. And week after, probably tier. So, I'm not too happy with this person in front of me. I was really hoping to take that spot. Trying to put one into the... Um, what is that thing? It's the... Looks like a... Um, SU... Uh, yeah, 122.44. Had to make sure. It could have been SU-100. They're kind of hard to uh, distinguish. T-34. Oh, I thought the T-34 fired. He did not. And... We're not quite going to reload in time. Dang it. I really don't like that dude up there. I really wish I could have taken that spawn. So I'm pulling back here, just in case artillery is going to decide to splash down on me. Which I wouldn't put it past them. Looking for a shot, don't quite have one. This thing is not happy with artillery. Ooh, I'm definitely spotted. So far, not having a lot of look, look with my shots. Holy hell. We have the smallest of lines. Nope, there's artillery. Actually didn't shoot us for a change. Wow. So far, pretty bad start to this game. Actually, a pretty horrible one even. But um, let's take a quick look here. Let's get out of. It. Hey, set. Get out. Of. Why won't it not respond? <sighs> okay. There we go. Um, this thing has pretty good depression. As you can see, I don't think this is fully depressed yet. I think it can depress a little bit more. As you can see here, this is what they have to shoot at, trying to, like this is all they have, just my turret and nothing more. So even though this is a gigantic tank, it can go hold down pretty well, and the turret surprisingly can actually bounce um, a thing or two because of its shape. It's very slanted, very sloped, and if the angle is good enough, you can actually bounce, so um, this thing can go hold down. I get spotted here, not quite sure about what, pull back again. So far, pretty passive play, but that's kind of what you have to do with this tank. You cannot be over-aggressive. Being over-aggressive will get you flat-out murdered in this thing. It has practically no armor. Anything that shoots at you will more than likely... Hello, pen. I hate it when allies just go in front of you like that. So we're checking a shot there. Can't quite shoot over there. And I'm just thinking about my options like I could go off to the right I'm looking for a shot there don't quite have one um, thinking about maybe going back to base um, can't quite figure out what angle of approach to take here oh, 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 oh come on come on come on yes finally put our first damaging shot of the game it has only been a couple of minutes <laughs> trust me it will get better eventually Wait for him to just back up. There we go. There's the shot. Another nice 260 roll there. Pretty nice, decent roll. Yeah, I was about to say he must still be there. I fire a bit clutch, but he actually gets spotted just before I shoot, and I could have uh, held my fire there. Wasn't in the line of sight, but eh. Shoot 122. Ah, barely have a line on the gun on this thing. It is pretty accurate, but not quite accurate enough to hit that little bit. Come on, looking for the shots. All we managed to do is track him. We request fire on him because, hey, I would like to get some bottom damage for that. I'm looking at my map, thinking like, hmm, this is not looking too good. In not too long, I'm probably gonna have to go back. I'm getting super unlucky with my shots, and yeah, right at this moment, it's like, okay, I'm done with this. My shots are just not going on target at all. Like, nothing. So, screw it, I'll head back to base. Yes, Mr. Spammer. Yes, thank you. Shut that F up, dude. <sighs> I 
hate people that spam. I mean, pinging a couple of times like, hello, is anybody freaking looking at your bloody map? I can understand that, but spamming that often? I should have pulled back here. Um, looking back at this, this was a stupid shot. I did not get spotted in the meantime, now I did. I'm just going back and forward here. I know his accuracy is horrible. There we go. I managed to duck his shell there. And now we pretty much have him. Trying to go for a tracking shot. Actually, shot goes a little bit wide. And all it does is go into... Well, it goes into his tracks, but the whole part of it. And I know we really don't have much time here. And going around here, finishing him off. Um, artillery shot the pattern point blank in the face. So he gets taken out. This guy was looking in the opposite direction, so... Damn. I was hoping we could have gotten a shot into him. So we're still behind on kills, our team I mean. The entire western flank, northern flank, this map is weird. Our current western flank, but on the minimap it's the northern flank, has been completely decimated. There they are. Found them. Trying to put in a shot on the move. Luckily I managed to dodge their shells as well. This thing is pretty quick, which is nice. Meaning I'm coming up behind these people. So, whoa, he was looking at me. And I'm looking at shots. I can finish off people. First one down. And let's go for it. Sort of important targets. Actually, 122, 44 is important, but it's. Yeah, you know. It's not that much damage per shot. And I know it has a really good DPM, but in that case, I'd much rather have a medium gun than I have a, a TD gun. Although, it's a pretty good one. It was a bit of a toss up between the two. Okay, he is gone. So, by flanking, we finally finished off this sort of dead standstill that we had here. A bit of luck, we should be able to get some shots into his ass, and there's Mr. Spammer again. Spamming away. Waiting for that reload. Or not reload, aim time, excuse me. Put a nice show into his ass there. Got a tank coming up. I'm going wide here. I'll be able to... Ah. The snapshotting this thing does not do, to be honest. It really can't snapshot. He gets tracked right in a position where he can't see us, so that's fantastic. Going a bit wide here. Oh, he is looking at us. He has other people to worry about as well. We turned this turret, which allowed our ally to put a shot into his face. Put one in, and I'm going in. I saw that the other tank got killed at 250. So I'm just going to try to go in. Oh, unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Oh, come on! I hate those damn tanks. Such bullshit. And finish him off with the track wheel. Two enemies left, both artillery. Dunk. And, oh. Yikes. He just got nuked right next to me. So, instead of taking the obvious route, I'm in a fast tank. And where artillery's gonna escape to? This side, obviously. If they're gonna run, they're gonna go here. So, I'm basically deciding here to cut them off in case they go here, because the direct route, of course, would have been through the grasslands there, get into their base, which is the obvious route, and it looked like I was going to take that, but I'm not. Instead, I am going to hopefully catch them while they're trying to run away and murder their faces. At least that's the plan. Look at the graveyard here. Man, they got slaughtered. Taking the corner a bit wide here, expecting that one of them might have been sitting around the corner there trying to derp me as I come around. Um, so as a precaution, I just went wide, just in case. Terry's at 35% health. Other one has not been spotted yet. This, this tank doesn't really feel like it's going all that fast, but we're doing 50 here in a marshy uh, area. Both are now down to 30 ish percent. Both of them I should be able to finish off in one shell. Well, not both of them in one shell, but one shell for each. There we go, finish off the first one, we get spotted. And we are the closest one. So can we actually... Oh, and he's not looking at us. Oh, come on, depression, come on. See ya. Finish him off for the sixth kill. Let's take a look at the stats.
And here we are. Ooh, sorry, I hit my mic. I'm very sorry, people. Didn't mean to hit you. Master Batch first class, we got a Reaper, Fire for Effect, Duelist, Bruiser, and a Top Gun. How we get? Eh, not much important. Oh, we got some extra crew experience. Oh, that's sweet. Love that. It's my female crew, by the way. Full female crew. Walked away with 3,000 damage, 6 kills, 1,300 base experience. Still not an ace tanker, though. 1,300 experience on this thing is not enough for an ace. Eh. But we had some people that did pretty well. A 4k, 2k... Not a whole lot. <laughs> Fire 29, hit 19, pin 16. I was not very fortunate with the snapshots. Normally this thing is pretty good with snapshots, but... This game, they would just not land. But still walking away with 3k damage done is not a bad thing. Only one shot from range by the looks of it. it. Took three hits to the face, two of them penetrated, one did not, I'm not sure which one bounced. Damage 10, destroyed 6, um, and walked away with 4100 experience in total. Woohoo! Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.